Hi guys, how are you doing today? We're going to be your tour guides. My name is Cole, this is Caroline. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask them throughout the tour. Hello, my name is Ariana. I'm a sophomore from Cleveland, Ohio. I'm here with Maslin and Sarah. I'm so excited to have you here today in C Campus. All right, so this is Armstrong Student Center. This is what I like to think of as the main hub of campus. There are gonna be students walking in and out of here almost every single hour of the day. So one of the main key features of Armstrong that I would like to point out is behind you guys, you can reserve study rooms here. So that's gonna be free of charge. You can go online and book some of those study rooms. And it's a great place to come and meet. This is kind of the center of campus. So no matter where you are on campus, whether you're off campus or you're on the far north part or south part, it's very easy to come and meet here and get all your work done. On top of that, there are a ton of different a la carte options that you can eat here. Some of my favorites are the sundial pizza and the stir fry and Haynes boulangerie, which is kind of like a Chipotle Mediterranean style. So definitely one of my favorites that I highly recommend that you guys stop at after the tour. Also involved here, there is the Miami University Student Credit Union. And so that's one of three student credit unions run solely by students throughout the entire nation as well as there's career services located down that wing where a lot of students can go and practice mock interviews as well as go and a lot of interviews will be held by companies there. On top of that, there's also a movie theater or theater located in here called Wilkes Theater. So they show all sorts of different stuff and a lot of the places that use that a lot is a program called MAP, otherwise known as Miami Activities and Programming. So that always holds an event on every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday for students on or off campus to kind of come in and there's all sorts of different activities going on. So great opportunities that you can kind of see on campus and lots of great and fun things to do. So first we're gonna cover everything you saw in the room, all the hardwood, the desk, um, dressers, as well as the chairs, the refrigerator, um, trash cans, recycling bins, all that comes with the room as a student. The larger that your room is, the less storage space you'll have because you have actual more space. Um, but the smaller the room is, you'd have a little bit more like dressers, things you can work with. Um, besides that, out here, if you can see, we're in the common room area. This is just an area for you to get to know everyone in your building. Um, your corridor, which is pretty much the hallway you'll live in, usually you'll meet in the common room space, really try to get to know each other. Um, through those double doors, you can see there's a full kitchen set, um, so that has everything, oven, stove, refrigerator, freezer, um, and sink. There will usually be a pool table, ping pong table for people to get to know each other, um, do some fun activities as well. Um, besides that, there are three ways to choose a roommate here at Miami. So the first we like to call eHarmony. It's just a Miami-sponsored survey that you would answer questions like, yes, I shower and eat. And based on your answers, they would best match you with someone um, who compliments you. The second way, once you're admitted as a student, you get put into a Facebook group. And I would put a little blurb on there like, hi, my name is Ariana. I'm thinking about studying public health. Um, based on that, someone would comment back, say, hi, I'm interested in rooming with you. You'd exchange information, and then you could request each other's name. Um, less dramatic way, if you know someone coming, can also request their names, but that's never as fun. And the third way is to go completely random. So I went completely random um, and it worked out great for me and I loved my roommate. Um, so just kind of know the type of person you are and you can choose them on that. Um, the way you're placed into a building, we have these different communities called LLCs, which are living learning communities. Based on the LLC you'll pick, the university will place that LLC in a specific building. So as a first year student, you can't pick your building, um, but you will pick the LLC and that will place you on campus where you need to be. Um, besides that, um, second year, it kind of, you get into this lottery system, you can kind of get around that. Um, few more things you do need to know about housing. There are communal style bathrooms, um, and all buildings are co-ed except for second year sorority housing, um, which is in the center of campus. You'll be able to see more about that later. Alrighty guys, welcome to Academic Quad. Um, as you see right in front of us, we actually have our Miami seal. Now I noticed that you kind of are all stepping away from it. We asked you to do that because it is rumored that if you step on the seal, you will fail your next exam. That seems a little odd. However, I have had friends who have failed their exams. Personally, I don't like to think I'm superstitious. I like to think it's because they were taking a physics class and maybe didn't study enough. 
but first exam of freshman year, hey, you can't necessarily say that it was totally their fault. Um, so this is just really fun. We have lots of really cool traditions at Miami. One of the other things is right behind you guys is going to be Routabush Hall. Those top three windows there are President Crawford's office. So President Crawford is around all the time. You always will see him and his wife, Dr. Renata Crawford, riding their bikes. They are engaging with students, hosting events. They host workout classes, actually, which is really fun, and they give out free t-shirts. Um, so that's something that is really cool. They like to be really involved and in making sure that they understand what students on campus are going through as well. Another fun tradition we have here at Miami is actually called the Miami Merger. So right over here, we have Upham Hall. This is just a plain academic building. However, if you look, there is a lantern and an arch. So it is said if you kiss your sweetheart under the lantern at midnight when it's lit, that you guys will be together forever. Another really cool thing is this is kind of the considered the hub of campus. So if you look around all of these different trees, when it's really busy, they will have sheet signs up advertising for different events and things that may be going on on campus. So when it comes to getting food on campus, there are five dining halls on campus and they're all located no more than a five minute walk or so from your academic buildings, your residence halls, the rec center, pretty much everywhere that you need to be on campus. So as you guys can see, we're now in King Library. This is our largest library on campus. However, we do have um, satellite libraries all over that are dedicated to different programs of study. This is gonna be your largest one with all of your books on the second floor. So yes, we are a library. We do still have books, I promise. Um, this first floor is mostly going to be multimedia. So you have computers behind me. You also have your circulation desk up front where you can reserve and check out chargers, laptops, things like that as well in case you are ever in need of one. The floor below us actually has King Cafe where you can get made to order sandwiches. They have a small market as well as really good coffee. So in case you're ever in need of a little pick me up during your study time, you can go on down there and get one. That second floor I talked about with the books is gonna be much quieter. Really kind of only talking if you really need to. Um, nothing higher than a whisper though. The third floor, which we do have here at King, is going to be home to our special records and archives. It's a really cool area. They also um, are silent up there. Um, that's where our graduate studies are, so if you need silence in order to study, that is the place for you. Um, it's really a, a great area. They have lots of comfortable chairs, but unfortunately it doesn't necessarily work for me. Something else in King that they have that I always like to mention is the Howe Writing Center for Excellence. They will help you with your essay free of charge. You can send in your essay online and they will send back feedback over like an email to you, but you can also meet in person with a student who has taken a class on writing essays to help you and give you the best um, kind of feedback that is possible. Miami is a Division I athletic department which has 18 teams, competes in the Mid-American Conference, and has earned back-to-back -back Cartwright Awards which recognizes the program for its excellence in academics, athletics, and citizenship. Last year, the Red Hawks won nine championships and the football team took home the 2019 MAC Championship. Tickets are included in tuition so no need to stand in line. Just walk right in with your Miami ID, swipe it, and cheer on your Red Hawks. At the rec center, you'll find a rock climbing wall, basketball courts, futsal court, track, free weights, treadmills, and other machines. Many intramurals are played at the rec, and also workout and exercise classes are offered for class credit. On the other side is the pool, diving board, and hot tub. To get in, all you gotta do is swipe your Miami ID, and you're good to go. All right guys, so now that we're in sort of the academic part of campus, I'm gonna talk a little bit about classes here at Miami. So one of the things that we have at Miami as part of our liberal arts education is something called Miami Plan, which is basically gonna be a set of classes that you guys would take outside of your intended major. So even though I'm a statistics major, I'm gonna end up taking a science class. Um, I took math classes, which sort of ended up working out pretty well with my major. You can take a psychology class, you could take basically anything you want to kind of get you a big like breadth of knowledge here. Um, which is something that's really cool and it gives you a chance to kind of experience other things. Um, something that we also have here is incredible academic advisors. So if you're taking one of those Miami plan courses or you're taking something outside of your intended major and you realize, hey, I actually like this a lot better than what I'm doing right now, 
they can help you make that um, easy transition to a different major even. So if you realized you're in education and then you took a few statistics classes, um, you can do like I did and switch from education to statistics. And they're very helpful about all of that with the credits. Something else that's also really important to mention to you guys is the average class size here, which is right about 30 or 31 students. So the professors genuinely care about us learning and the class as a whole. So even though they might have a teaching assistant or a graduate assistant that helps out with the class, the professor is going to be the one that you could go to to ask questions with. They do have to have office hours at um, during the week for a few, uh, usually four or five hours. So you can go in, they usually have them on different days, so that way even if you have classes during those times, you can make it work. So they're usually an amazing resource to go to. If you maybe can't go during those times, or maybe you want to learn from a student as well, we do have a student tutoring center here on campus, which is in the Shriver Center, which is actually all students uh, that has performed well in that class, and now they're willing to help you. You can go to the tutoring center, sign up for one hour appointments, and get help in basically any class you need. So there's an abundance of resources to help you here at Miami if you're struggling with any class, but it's always good to kind of get to know your professors and try to get all the help that you can get, especially since a lot of these resources are free for you. I know right now there are a ton of unknowns, but what I can tell you is that wherever you end up, you'll learn to call it home. College really is what you make of it, and here at Miami, you can make it pretty great.